All right, I'm back at my uh, regular computer where I'll do my recordings, my YouTube recordings, so the sound should be better. I've just created Arch Linux B, Calamaris Extended. Do we have that? So, do we have it all the way down? We have here to be created Arch Linux B Calamaris Extended Git. Now I'm wondering, did I write Git behind it? So, go and check Arch Linux GitHub. I always have to check myself. So on the repo I saw something new has been added. Arch Linux Calamaris extended git check. So it stops with uh, the last letter. So this is a version number. So Arch Linux Calamaris extended git is correct. Safe. The question is now, can we run something? Can we build it? I was thinking maybe we know I know we want to do um, a new package for OpenBox. OB menu generator is there already, and we're gonna need it. But what if maybe we take the the minimal version? Where's the minimal version? Here, why if why not take this one just to have something to have a menu already and later on we're gonna make a OB manager generator extended so still on the to-do list but I have a menu in the meantime yes that's okay let's uh, push so Open box manual menu is what we just thought of. Can we build this thing? Can we say installation script build? That's what we're going for. What errors do we get? Okay, so Arch Linux B extended, I'll be extended. Mm -hmm. And it's off running. Let's scroll back up. So in here he's getting the latest bash RC. That means that we have what is the latest thing? The latest thing was that we have added local bin to the path. That's the latest thing. Maybe if you missed the video. Anything scripting required for your personal usage? Um, well, do an update, do a scale, do a CP, and then the alias is of the, the, the new uh, bash RC is working. And then you uh, can use the dot local bin folder. We have to wait anyway. So then you have the local lib. It's not there. So if you put anything in here, or well, let's do an example, we have to wait anyway. So if we would go inside bin and we take our co okay copy bin here control v and we type arco no that's zeros arco right question is control t is my arco in there so it's not not yet i need to reboot or maybe i'm not sure if this is already working here. How far I've updated the system. Come on, RC. No, that's not possible. So arc something. No, I did not. Am I missing a CP? Might be. I missed the CP. So there it is. Arco is the one that's coming from here. 
So anything you yourself have as a script, you can do, uh, you can put them all there. It's a great place for a local user. That been said. Yeah, let's close. And uh, scrolling back up. Remember, as the speed is not good, but it's, well, not super, but it's okay. Then there's the mirror alias and the mirrors, and mirror D, mirror A, to get the best possible Arch Linux server. We have just two Arch Linux servers, and there are enough. We pay for it. It's Cthost and GitHub as fallback. I better pause the video here, otherwise it will be a long video. This is an interesting phase, that's why I unpause checking package integrity, checking keys, and at some point in time, that's the one, the file conflicts. <laughs> if you have no file conflicts, then he's going on. But if there is a package that's going to write a file to the same place as another package, then Pacman says no, no. There can be just one Think about, think of the, the video, the, the movie Highlander, there can be just be one, there can only be one, right? Remember all the lightning and all that when we were young. There can be only one package ruling one file. That's the deal. And that's why sometimes we get stuck here. File conflicts. Okay, pausing. All right, it has uh, finished. So 1.6 gigabyte, of course, uh, tiling window managers are have a low, uh, how do I say that, low footprint is a good word. So not much gigabytes at all uh, with one browser. Um, not even sure if I have Atom or Sublime Text or anything. We'll see later. Does it work? Well, you've gone this far that you have something as output. So that's a good sign. And then we need to Super F7. Yeah, there are scripts on Arch Linux. Uh, Nemesis. Let's have a look. Um, okay, let's show you anyway. So cleaning up. up uh, remove some stuff. Delete the files. Remove some stuff. Delete the files. Like that. I'm going to clone so all my settings are okay. There are enough videos to tell you how to set VirtualBox. And we are going to put it in. It's gonna be this one. First time ever. Exciting. Okay, wrong screen as always. Enter. We're booting up. We're using a template. The template is always the same. It's Arch Linux ISO. There is just one ISO, guys. Try to to get it in your head, <laughs> even if we have 64 ISOs, which is now 65, there is actually just one. And in each one of them, we decide to put other Lego blocks inside. That's it, that's it. You know, we used, reused BSPWM, right? So we need to change that, but that's for later. That's design, that's later. That's the fun part. First is the technical part. Well, Eric, to be precise, it's an Arclix B. It's going to be the Arclix B. Let's see, this is the difficult part for Calamaris. When it's trying to create partitions and all that, that's sometimes where it gets stuck. And um, let me go to 222. Let's include some more tutorials and information on the go. Arco Linux Calamaris. Calamaris. All you need to know. Let's see what Google brings. Gives us. Yeah, voila. Great. Thank you, Google. Calamaris series. All you ever need to know. This is going to be, is now, and is going to be the article to contain all the knowledge about Calamaris. Contains already, I think, uh, 34 or, or so um, 
you see the, the slider up here, all information about calamars. And when it goes wrong, well, it's at the top, of course. Use a magical button to set MBR. So the magical button is here. And some things, when some things go wrong, fixing, fixing issues, Gparted is there to overcome this rather um, efficient tool. But sometimes things are too complex and then it crashes. So you have to help yourself. And here's all the knowledge. Here is the knowledge to help yourself become uh, proficient. Is that the word? Self, Self-reliant, better word maybe. And um, get it installed basically, because once it's installed, fun can start. And But that's sometimes a problem to get past that hurdle. So take a look there. So when we scroll over our desktop in, in XFC, you can switch between desktops down here. So that's what happens. Nothing is broken. <laughs> you can drag it along to the other side. Ooh, nice. So that's um, XFC as delivery system to install your desktop. It will be much more difficult if we, and first of all, which desktop which we have as a live environment we have how many do we have now six seven we have seven desktops on here awesome bsp wm i3 absolute wm tutile xmona and as a safeguard open box so if tiny window managers are not really your thing yet right stress the yet then um, this might be i'm wondering where it will boot upon in what what uh, environment it will boot at this point in time or whether we'll be on the login screen I hope on the login screen not sure good 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 let's check open box yes Qtile yes Xmonad yes awesome yes PSP Telium yes Herbs Love Telium this is not my fault guys this is just how i3 is created so i3 so one two three four five six seven that's correct it says open box by default right great don't have to do anything let's boot in and now we have a menu let's hope haha <laughs> plank is there the settings are not set so why is plank showing the way it is it's not here it doesn't move become bigger because the article linux minus config is not there we have to set everything right mouse click we have already the minimal chosen a smaller one but i want to have even smaller this is okay this is an application that's okay we, we can get rid of this mm. we'll see good 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 am conky pipe menu uh -huh. Okay, let's start writing down. So that's uh, the pipe menus. Pipe menu should be added. Okay, right mouse click, preferences, anything broken here. The oh yeah, that's part of the pipe menu again. You see, well actually uh, it's easily fixed, but we need to fix it on the on the ISO right. Pseudo pipeman minus s go and get the lego blocks um pipe menus reinstalling 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 so it is okay is there an application we're missing also reinstalling okay I need my brain needs to think okay I may have an idea let's um, analyze together if that's correct nope that's not it let's make you smaller my friend Boof, boof, and then go to the Arclinux B extended and open box. Remember, we took a few this things. This came back from a search. 
Okay, I don't know what that was. I was a ghost in my phone there. So let's compare these two guys. Remember that in the open box we said I want to learn and see if we need those and those packages. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. And that's... This one, the common, common git. Okay, let's see what the common git brings. Uh, oh, there you are. Oh my God. Okay, I've learned something. We need to common git. That's why I do this, guys. I become smarter. Okay. So the common git is definitely necessary. I'm gonna check it again. Uh, not that one, that one. So what did we, we did something else, something about docs or something. So common git, this is extended, common git is in. This, the left, is open box. Okay. Without common git. So the Arch Linux docs git is not necessary. Let's have a look what that is. If you develop all these things for years and everything works, you don't touch them anymore. It's just documentation. All right. No necessary just docs like the name suggests but you never know so the common is necessary i know that now okay let's play some more right or a wallpaper so sad so ugly there is no configuration no Linux conf but we have accessories Nitrogen, where are you? Nitrogen settings, nitrogen. I always keep looking. And then I say super shift D. <laughs> nitrogen. Nah, apply. Done. And then we keep on messing with these things. Uh, right control, wait, wait, life control. Uh, left control, right click mouse, hey, hey. and then to the left, I like it, all these guys are here, which should I choose, I don't like none of them, no, white, and then behavior, I can zoom, and I'm a little bit more happy later on, I'll do it probably, doesn't like it. There is no Compton, obviously, because we're on VirtualBox. If you do want to have Compton, transparency, control H. We don't have that. Oh, we do have that. Uh, how did it get here? The, the, the Compton.com. <laughs> Some package, control find, VirtualBox, vsync is true, get rid of it, and uh, save. I do believe there is a compositor thing in here somewhere. Enable, compositing, that's enabled, that's nice. And this changed in the meantime. Ha! Huh. That's why they were looking so miserably ugly. It's a nice one. Okay, so that's that. Control, uh, sorry, Super X. Super X is working. I'm going to go for logout. There was a message, a quick message up there for user 972. I've put it on the forum how to get rid of that if you want to get rid of that. It's a light DM thing. And it will go away once they fixed it. Aha. So here it starts. So that's working. Let's just look at the working stuff. Remember, this is how Arch Linux looks when you install it. There is no configuration set anywhere how these things should look. 
Zo, de .config, de arclinux-config is not in here. There is, this is the general setting. And we could change them, but um, we should make a package for it, right? So that's another video. Super X, logout. What did I just take? Qtile. Okay, X Monathan. So used to all these styling window managers. But the X, I know. X is X Monat, right? Alt N, is that working? Variety kicking in. Variety kicking in, all right. So Control T, Super Shift Return, Super X. Log out. Um, we need to do something. We need to get our screen key in. Uh, some strange, the fonts, some fonts are missing or something. We'll see later. Pseudo Pacman minus S, no, not, yeah, I don't know. Let's do yay then, we're sure. Screen key git. Otherwise you don't know what I'm pressing. And it goes so fast, I don't think anymore about what to press. My fingers know what to press. I wonder what's going on with the fonts though. Anyway, I have now a screen key and with the screen key and a preference of display 2.5, that's okay. Yeah. Control T, oh, that was quickly gone. Let's wait for it, go away. Two and a half seconds is long. Persistent window, is that what I always use? I think so. Uh, two is okay. Control T, it goes to the back end. It's a bit strange. Well, I have settings and the settings are in my screen key conf, right? So I don't need to think it about it, don't need to remember anymore. No idea. Uh, persistence means the bar is always there. <laughs> no, not a good idea. Close. Okay, so let's move on. Log out. Awesome. That's awesome. Now, the Compton Conf is dedicated to one desktop. So again, no transparency because in the config of Awesome is another content conf. So they don't intermix, they don't clash with each other. You can have different choices between one and the other. But in this case, I need to set it again. So vsync is true, it needs to be again like this. And I believe there's a keyboard shortcut, but I don't know what it was again. Uh, correct, Eric. Control Alt O is the button. You see that this is now transparent and we're on awesome. Super X, log out. PSPWM. Uh huh. Again, all black, but that's okay. That's cool. We're cool with that. Log out, not shut down. Herbsluft WM. Bit slow, but it gets there. Seems okay. We'll have to do further testing later on, but at the beginning, that's okay. Now, I see something I wanted to do all the time, the can't read temp. I'm going to get rid of this particular part of the i3, um, make a new package, upload here, and um, then we'll call it a day for this video. All right, I've created a new package on the other computer, updated, and Ctrl T. Update is the same as update, 
in Arch Linux. <laughs> and um, i3wm git is now installed. Where is it installed? In etc scale. Do I have it? No, not unless you do a scale. Then you have it. And let's get rid of you by clicking like so. Bye. Country temp, right? Super shift R. It's gone. Now, the thing is, um, we want you, because there was, well, not one, but many users are going to phase five, which means an Arch Linux installation, and they want to get the repos in, which what we call spicing of um, Arch Linux. Let's boot up Firefox inside our virtual machine. ArcLinuxD.com. By the way, I press Ctrl Alt F. F from Firefox. In here we have the phase five, and in phase five you do an archway installation. And if you wanna get, if you're missing things from Arco Linux, then you spice up Arch. Then you're going to add Arco Linux spices. That's what we, the Bash RC, the coloring, and all that, uh, themes, playing themes, and, and etc. etc. All our packages, which is in these days quite a bit. Super 2 is working, Ctrl Alt T is working. What do we give the community with all these packages? Just type Arch Linux. That's it. These are our packages. These can be uh, useful on Arch Linux. And because of the fact that we have this um, done this transformation in packages, renaming and all that, you can decide to install the config files or not. I think better not because this is your styling, your theming, your tweak, tweaking, yeah, that's, that's that. But now you can also install uh, Mate. So the settings for pure desktop settings, not, not GPIC and not the icons and all that. No, no, pure Mate settings and pure cinnamon settings and pure budgie settings. And the rest is pseudo pacman minus s budgie. You install budgie and um, get in and you can play with our Lego blocks if you want to and spice it up. That's the idea. It's much more fun and easier and, 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 and more efficient now. That being said, um, this thing maybe you're wondering what, what, what is it doing um, in the i3. We had the i3 status conf, yeah, that's the one. That can go, well, that can go as well. Let's move it to number three. Well, it's not on Eric again. I need to write it everywhere in the system that it should boot with it. So Super Shift 4 is moving this to workspace 4 and 1 is here. I just put a hashtag here. That's it. Great, right? New package for a hashtag. But the thing is, all these things, this, this works for my machine, but it will not work on a virtual box for one. And it, not, it might not be working on your hardware. So this is a pathway. That's of course hardware dependent, so I just left it out. So um, if you do want to try out, if you can see the temperature of your CPU when you're building, for instance, it becomes hard, it becomes warm, I mean. <laughs> so then you do that. So that's that. I think the next video should be about um, making this nicer, right? Okay, see you later.